Another brick fan with a Spider-Man set. This is Spider-Man's Drone Duo. This is set 76195, was released in October 2021. It has 198 pieces, two minifigures, and cost about $20 when it was released. Even though this is branded as Spider-Man No Way Home, it really is based on Homecoming because of the Vulture here. The Vulture was not in the Spider-Man No Way Home movie, although he is one of the people that did know who Spider-Man was, so it was kind of interesting that he didn't show up in the movie. This set has two major builds, one being the Vulture's flight suit here and the other being this large drone. Uh, as a drone, it's probably pretty close to life size. I mean, it, there's drones about this size available. But if you're thinking of this as a minifigure scale, this is a very large drone in minifigure scale. We'll take a close look at each of the minifigures in a minute, but let's take a look at this drone first. Taking a closer look at this drone, you can see that it's mostly done in black and gold. Lots of stickers. So there's stickers on every arm here. A bunch of stickers here on the top that give it some good texturing. The front here has a sticker as well, and then it does open up. So there looks like there's a cockpit here. So we can have Spider-Man sit inside of the drone there. Close that up. There are a couple of stud shooters here on the top. Now these are the older stud shooters, so they're not the ones that came out in 2022. There are four arms of the drone and each has a propeller on it that spin quite well. Moving around to the back, you see these stickers used here to represent some patterns on the, on the drone itself. This also is on a hinge, and you see a couple of lights back here, or the trans red. Looking down in here, you see there is a spider tracer, or this little spider piece here that we've seen in lots of different Spider-Man sets. So that right there is, is hidden inside, or has a storage area inside the drone. Another aspect of this drone is the rope here done in pearl gold so you can have spider-man grab onto that and have the this is one of the things they showed on the box so the drone can actually fly up and have spider-man hanging down from that little cable there underneath the drone i believe the drone flies this direction since the stud shooters point that direction Overall, I think it's a pretty nice drone design. It is pretty large in a, mini, in a minifigure scale, so it does, like I showed you, carry a minifigure. So maybe more of an autonomous vehicle as opposed to a, a drone. When I think of drones, I think of the smaller ones, you know, like your MSI drones, those little small drones that are just used they don't really carry any cargo or anything, although they, they guess there are larger drones that do that. Let's take a look at Vulture's flight suit. Here's a close-up look at Vulture's flight suit. As you can see, it's very well done in this green and black color palette. Lots of stickers on this as well, so a sticker on each one of these here to represent kind of the ends or the tips of the wings. Sticker right here and a sticker here to show some of the texturing of the flight suit itself. Same on, so both sides are built, they're just opposites of each other. We have these very large fan engines here on the flight suit. The back is pretty plain, although there is another sticker back here. So for a very small set, there are many, many stickers. I put a picture of the sticker sheet up there, up here on the screen, so you can see there's many stickers that came with this set. There is some articulation in here, so it can be kind of folded up back behind the minifigure. That folded out, these are on ball joints, so the, the engines or thrusters can be moved around quite a bit. And then you see that the Vulture himself here is carrying a stud shooter pistol, and then there's a gem here in his hand as well. 
So let's take a closer look at the minifigures. Here are the two minifigures that come with this set. So we have Spider-Man here in this black uniform. And of course, the Vulture in all of his flight suit. As you can see, he's got this breathing mask here and this big visor that goes over the helmet that he's wearing. Spider-Man comes with a collection of these accessories, these different web accessories. These are done in pearl gold, and then it has one of these clear handle pieces that allows Spider-Man to grip onto those. Vulture has this gem here in the kind of trans purple as well as a stud shooter, which you may have seen earlier when we were looking at these figures. Pretty good printing here in silver and gold for Spider-Man. He has the gold hands as well. Vulture has this good printing here on his head, which you can see, and then the leather jacket that he's wearing. I kind of like this mask, this gas mask or the oxygen mask. Looks like what a fighter pilot would wear, which makes a lot of sense. And of course, a helmet and this big visor, which I already pointed out. Looking around to the side, you see there is good side printing here on Spider-Man's arm. And then moving around to the back, once again, good printing here on the back of Spider-Man's head, continuing kind of that web pattern. And then the Spider-Man logo in gold here and some other different printing. It looks like he's wearing some kind of belt as well. I think this is the uniform that Nick Fury provided to Spider-Man. Looking on the back of the Vulture, you can see that printing there for the rest of him. And then this is the gas mask, of course. Fits in as this multiple layer thing here. And then if we get the helmet out of the way, you'll see that Vulture does have an alternate expression where he doesn't have all of the extra goggles and all that other stuff. If we looked at his head here, see he's wearing like goggles or something, and then when the mask is on, you can't really see the detail of all of that. So a decent alternate expression, no hair piece for him, so he would end up staying in this helmet, for example. But you do get to see a lot more of his face here in this particular configuration. Going back around again, arm printing on the side of Spider-Man. And then interestingly, there is no printing at all on the bottom of Vulture's uh, legs here. It's just straight, call them olive green legs. So there are too many figures. Let's go back and I'll give you my final thoughts on this set. Overall, a nice little set. I do like the new build here, the build, bigger build of the Vulture's flight suit here. The large drone has some nice features with, you know, a kind of a cockpit up front here and then nice use of stickers all around that as well as the little storage compartment in the back so pretty good use of space on this particular drone version of spider-man in the black and gold uniform is really nice i like how that turned out these web elements as i mentioned are pretty common in some of these spider-man sets usually they're white and in this case they're done in that pearl gold color which is nice to see those in a different color and the printing on the vulture is really nice and like i said i do like that visor piece although it is kind of large compared to the helmet as far as playability goes this drone is very solid i think it swooshes really well uh, it's pretty hard to get all the propellers moving at the same time but that's okay it is a nice play piece the Vulture flight suit, on the other hand, is a little bit fragile. So he's only connected by a couple of studs there. So the Vulture can come off fairly easily. These little fingers or feathers at the end of the edge of the wings also can come off because they're just clipped on. So it's not quite as durable, I would say, as the drone itself, but it still turned out pretty nicely. Finally, to value, this is a $20 set with just about 200 pieces. So it works out to right at that 10 cent per piece, which I think is actually a pretty good value for Marvel. You do get a couple of nice minifigures here, and I think the playability and the look of the set is quite good. So I think this is a pretty good value overall. So I hope you've enjoyed my thoughts on this Spider-Man set. 
I'm going to get started on my next video. And until then, happy building. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to see more of my content. I've left a link to my Marvel Superheroes playlist up here on the screen.